I'm going to show you how to add an email address in cPanel. So we're going to start from our main cPanel dashboard. Now this will work with any web hosting that has cPanel. It should look just about the same. So I am doing mine in Namecheap. This is Namecheap Shared Web Hosting. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for the heading that says email. You can either do that or you can uh, click the find functions up here, the search bar, and click and type in email and email accounts will show up. Just click email accounts and this is where you see a list of all your email addresses that you've already created. So most likely you're not going to see anything in here. So um, we're going to go ahead and click on the blue create button over here on the right side of the screen. And um, we're going to go ahead and click the domain that we want this set up on. So you may only have one domain or two domains. Um, I have a ton of them in my account so I'm gonna go ahead and click this drop down button so go ahead and click this drop down box anywhere in that box and click on the domain that you want to go ahead and create the email address for in my case in my case I'm gonna click on allstretches.com so we want to put in the email the email addresses username in here so this is gonna be the username at and then your domain so in my case I'm gonna put I'm gonna make an admin account so I'm gonna put admin and it's going to be ad so the email address is going to be admin at allstretches.com now if we go down here we're going to be able to set the password so you can type in any password that you want as you can see you can type in anything that you want or you can let it generate your own here click generate and it's going to generate the own, its own password or if you have Chrome, I know you can do this with Chrome. I'm using Chrome. I'm pretty sure you can do it with Firefox. I'm not sure about Safari or Opera, but you can uh, click Suggest Strong Password if you're using Chrome, and it'll show you a strong password that you can do. And it will automatically save that in your Chrome saved passwords. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and um, just have it generate its own password and you can click on stay off stay on this page after I click create you want to do that if you want to create another email address but I'm not going to do that so I'm going to click on create and it's creating okay and it's I had a pop-up from Chrome telling me to update the password so I'm going to go ahead and update the password on that and now here is my email admin at allstretches.com it shows me how much uh, storage that I'm using and it gives me the option to check my email to manage my email and connect devices to it so if I click check my email it's going to automatically log into my webmail and from here you want to click on the open button right here and it's going to open it in this round cube open source software and it's automatically sent me a an email of how I can configure this email in other email providers such as uh, Gmail you can put you can put it in Gmail if you want or if you have like Windows Mail or uh, something like that where you put all of your email addresses into uh, it's got the pop settings the pop three settings where you can go ahead and, and and store those in there and get those from other sources so that's all you have to do to create an email address um, to um, I'm going to show. I'm going to go back here to cPanel, and I'm going to show you how to access it. So if we go down to, to email addresses, and we go to uh, find the heading under email again, and we'll go to email accounts, it's going to pop up that same thing that we found before, and then we just click on the check email that we did, and it will log you in, and you click the open, and or you can cl click that little box that said check my email when I when I log in. Let me go back to that and show you because that will get rid of this screen. If I click this button here, now if I go back, check email, it's going to log me straight into my webmail. And that takes that screen off if you don't want to see that screen anymore. So that's how to check your or to create an email address in cPanel and how to check your email in cPanel. Like I said, this will work for any 
uh, hosting provider that you use cPanel with, it should look exactly the same. If not, look for uh, the email addresses. Just type in email and then look for email accounts should say that on all cPanel hosting providers. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like below. Also subscribe to the channel for more hosting cPanel tutorials. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.